Hello beautiful people! <laughs> this video is like a story time and what inspired this video was um, a post I saw on Instagram where somebody was, where people were talking about how parents are part of the reasons why people get into um, bad marriages because a lot of parents want their kids to get married at a certain age and when that age comes there's pressure from the parents and I'm like I cannot relate! I cannot relate because you guys I feel like this is one, one part of my story that I love so much the fact that when it was time for me to get married or when I got married um, my parents didn't even want me to, in fact, my mom didn't even want me to get married at the point I got married. In fact, when I got married, it was like, why are you getting married at this point? Like, and this was not because I was too young or, you know, I had graduated from the university and everything. So it was not like, oh, you're still in school and everything. That was not the case. But in fact, I think when I was in school, I knew in my heart of heart that I probably would never get married in school. I actually just knew I would not get married in school. I knew that it was not something that was going to happen. Like they won't let it happen you understand i knew i didn't want to get married when i was in the university so i didn't really think about that and everything so when i graduated actually when i actually told my parents uh, i was going to get i wanted to get married okay somebody wanted to get married to me and everything it was even a case of mm, where why where where are you going to you know you, you still have to do other things they wanted me to do other things with my life and not just get married you understand so i think the pressure of not um having my parents want me to get married at a certain point made me not i didn't rush into getting married i didn't i didn't think i rushed i don't think i was too young i don't think i was not too young because i don't want to say old because i feel like people are going to get married whenever it's right for them but why i'm saying this is the fact that for a lot of reasons a lot of parents want their children to get married at a certain age which is a good thing because i feel like sometimes not all the times your parents really want the best for you like, oh at this point my child is at the age of getting married so if they got married it's like um them them moving forward it's something positive in their lives and everything and it's beautiful but where i have an issue is when the person like the the person who's going to be in the marriage doesn't want to get married to that particular person for a lot of reasons maybe they are not ready maybe they feel they're not ready emotionally and everything and they are forced into the marriage or they are pressured to feel like okay they want to get married i've heard a lot of people say oh i don't want to get married in my 20s i don't want to get married in my um, i want to get married like let's say in my early 30s and that's fine and i feel like a lot of times as human beings what we do is we feel like things that are important to us has to be important to other people and that's not true like i said i didn't want to get married when i was in the university and i i, I think i kind of conditioned my mind to see that maybe i didn't feel like i was going to be able to navigate like the way i am i like to go all out you understand i didn't think i was going to be able to navigate school and um maybe child care if i had a baby then shout out to everybody who had to go like to school full time with um having a child i know marriage can be a little bit less you know when you're married you're married to an adult so if, if you don't have time for that adult adults can take care of themselves and like let's say cook for themselves you know clean up for themselves and everything but if you have a child while married in school it's a whole other level i saw people struggle when i was in school because they had kids in school and a lot of them still made it out very very good like really shout out to them because it is not easy so i didn't want to i just didn't want to mix the two things together and thank god it happened for me like that but i'm not saying people who who had it the other way did anything wrong I'm talking about my own personal experience so um i think like that, that pressure not being there actually helped me a lot so it just really goes out to say that even us as um young younger people you might feel like hey, this doesn't affect me so why is um what's my own in this whole matter this doesn't affect me but the thing is i see people who all, also do that like now maybe i'm married and the next thing i get to begin to do is look for people who are my age who are not married people who i went to primary school with or secondary school with or university with and i begin to shame them for not being married because i am married mm -hmm. or i begin to shame them for the accomplishments that i have that they don't have and the funny thing we don't realize with life is that we all have different things going on for us some people are married some people are thriving in business some people are thriving in their workplace some people actually have every other thing going on for them at the same time which is beautiful but what i'm saying is that you might think that um pressuring your children into getting married is not an issue for you but right now you are pressuring your friends to get married because you're married you know you're pressuring your friends to have children because you have children so you wonder what happens when people are forced to get married you get you see a lot of people who actually can't even stand each other they cannot live with each other they cannot even have conversations i know that what, what happens in marriage is that 
over time people learn each other they get better even if you are being best friends and everything the moment you sign those dotted lines the moment you begin to live together uh it's, it's a whole different ballgame because things change when kids begin to come it's different things change you are you are learning each other day by day you get to you have to put up with the other person you know um when they don't look their best when they don't smell their best when they don't um when there's no shakara, when there's no makeup as a woman, when there's no slaying as a guy, you know, when you are not all dressed up as if you are, how the public sees you all the time. Marriage is that person you are living with. See, you are in every state, in every form that you are, you understand? So it's different. You know, if you're a woman, when you get pregnant, even when you don't even recognize yourself, marriage is that your spouse seeing you like that, you understand? So marriage is deeper than... You know, marriage is intense. It's serious. It's not something that um, people should be forced into. I see. I saw the comments in that post, and I was so sad because a lot of ladies, a lot of ladies, talked about the pressure of um, of trying to be married, and even guys talked about it. So I know that sometimes for guys, people feel like, oh, guys just get married when they want to. But I didn't. From that post, I saw that it wasn't the case for them. A lot of them um, didn't want to get married, but they just kept on telling them, it's time for you to get married, it's time for you to get married, and they just had to, okay, okay, look for a girl, and they look for a girl, and you know, they give them the girl, and they, he, he goes to pay the girl's bride price, and he starts living with the girl, and they start living together, and maybe for some reason, hopefully, they are going to start loving each other along the line, but what if they don't? What if they don't? I think the one thing that this whole thing will teach you is that if you ask me, one of the most important traits I think that anybody should find in a spouse would be kindness. Be kindness. Because I feel like people who end up taking each other's lives, who end up being mean to their, to their person, just are not kind human beings. They're not kind human beings. And I don't mean somebody that is just, just kind to you. Somebody who is just kind to you might not really be so kind. You know, you need somebody that's actually kind to a lot of people, people that they don't know the random person on the street let them be kind to them if you're with a kind person some things that would never happen between the both of you some things that they would never do to you even if you know you guys annoy each other you guys are not in the best of mood some things you would never do or say to the other person just because you're a kind person one of the most important things people should look out for in spouses will be kindness but if you are forcing your children to get married to whoever where is the time for them to check if the person was kind What's the time for them to check if this man they want to get married to is a kind man? What's the time for them to check if the woman they're getting married to is a kind woman? Because all these people that used to do their house help anyhow and give the house helps um, floggings of life. And I will see Max, Max, Max and everywhere. I don't know. I do not know. So some men get married and the moment they, a help has to come and live with them and their wife, they are shocked at the monster they're living in the house with. They are literally shocked like, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe I'm married to this person. I cannot believe this person is actually birthing children with me. Do you get? Because they do not know that the person is not a kind person. That's what might happen when people who are forced to be with each other. The pressure to get married. The pressure is just there from society. And you might be thinking that it's not for you. But you are the one. You are, you are married. You're, even the person that you are, is your friend. Their family members are not even forcing them to get married. You. Now the pressure is from you. They can't hang out with you because you're married. There cannot be any conversation without you talking about how you are married, how they are not married, how this event is for my people, how they, you cannot go to this um, event, how they cannot go to this event with you. People were good friends before they got married, before you got married, and now you cannot be, you, they cannot have a conversation with you for 30 minutes. For 10 minutes, what is 30? 10 minutes, because you remind them 50 times in 10 minutes how they are not married. Now when they go home, the only thing they are thinking of is who is the next or guy that wants to get married? Let me go and leave it in the house because I'm getting pressure, not even from my family members, from my friend. I just really felt so bad when I saw that person. I said, oh, let me just come here and share this. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Um, please like this video, please share, please subscribe. I'm going to see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe and be kind. Bye.